Imagine a universe teeming with advanced civilizations. They're robotic explorers traversing the cosmic expanse, creating a tapestry of intelligence across galaxies. Yet, here we are, on our little blue planet, seemingly alone in the vastness of space. This begs the question, why don't we see robotic civilizations rapidly expanding across the universe? The Hart-Tipler Conjecture, originating in the 1970s, proposes a startling idea. If extraterrestrial civilizations existed in our galaxy, they would have had ample time to colonize it. Michael Hart and Frank Tipler, the proponents of this theory, believed that any advanced civilization would create self-replicating robotic probes to explore and colonize the galaxy. These probes, theoretically, should have reached Earth by now, but their absence, what Hart termed Fact A, suggests we might be alone in the universe. The Copernican Principle, central to this conjecture, posits that Earth and humanity are not unique in the universe. If we sent probes like the pioneers and voyagers into space, surely other civilizations have done the same. Avi Loeb, a renowned astrophysicist, echoes this sentiment in his work, advocating for active searches for these alien probes. The silence, however, remains unbroken. Why haven't we encountered any trace of these robotic voyagers? Not all scientists agree with the hart tipler conjecture's expansionist view. Jeffrey Landis' percolation theory and Milan M. Kirkovic's Empire State vs. City State models suggest that extraterrestrial civilizations might choose different paths. Some might prefer staying close to home, while others might form clusters without expanding across the galaxy. The Aurora Effect, named after Kim Stanley Robinson's novel, posits that habitable planets might not be hospitable due to indigenous species or other factors. This theory, proposed by Adam Frank and colleagues, suggests that civilizations might form clusters rather than sprawling empires, further explaining the silence we observe. Daniel Wallstrom brings a unique angle to this discussion, focusing on the morality and motivations of super AIs. He argues that super AIs evolving from advanced societies might not be inherently expansionist. They might prioritize long-term survival and efficient resource use over rapid expansion and colonization. If super AIs are not expansion-driven, where should we look for them? Wallstrom suggests that these entities might be more concerned with cosmic events like the heat death of the universe. They could be working on projects to extend the life of stars or create efficient galaxy clusters, actions that might be detectable in the future. The quest to find extraterrestrial intelligence continues, driven by new theories, advanced technologies, and an ever-growing understanding of the cosmos. While we've not yet found definitive evidence of extraterrestrial life, the search itself enriches our understanding of the universe and our place within it. As we peer into the heavens with next-generation telescopes and sophisticated algorithms, we hold on to the hope that someday, somewhere, we might finally answer Fermi's enduring question, where is everybody? As we continue to search the skies, every discovery, every theory, and every observation brings us closer to understanding the grand tapestry of the cosmos and our role in it. Could it be that the answers we seek are just beyond our current reach, waiting for us to uncover them?